Hey, what's up guys? Back at you with another video because Native Instruments just dropped Motherboard, a brand new machine expansion that they dropped yesterday. And this expansion really focuses in on Detroit Electro and the sounds that were coming out of that during that time with these retro futuristic textures and funky chord stabs. Get some gritty vocoder chops and a bunch of samples that come from vintage machines. Now I can tell you already from the time I've had to explore this expansion that the 808s are really, really deep and the kicks and snares really slap. And on top of that, with all the funky esoteric textures and sounds that you get in this expansion, it's definitely gonna add some flair to your productions. Now, even though electronic funk is not a genre that I normally explore or produce in, there's always something within these expansions that you don't quite expect that can be used toward your productions and add that ear candy or just add a fresh perspective as you're producing and writing your own music. So I'm going to go ahead and dive into these kits and just start to explore and see what I can come up with. So I got motherboard pulled up to go through some of these kits. Man, that just booms in. I like that synth. I want to see if I can do something with it, maybe. Let's just load up that kit and play through some of these sounds. I like these two samples at the top here. So I'm going to go ahead and just explore first with like a tempo and then start to record something in. Yeah, that's good right there. So let me go and record this in. I kind of like how that accidentally got shifted when I played it in and when it quantized it, it landed in such a way that kind of gives this like roll of these MIDI notes. Happy little accident, right? So let's go ahead and explore what else we can do with this. Yeah, I like that. Let me go and record this in. Man, that sounds good. I like that a lot. So let me go ahead and just go to the pattern here and duplicate this idea so we can keep that for like an intro part if we want to. Okay, now we can go ahead and add something else to this pattern and continue the idea. So let's go ahead and... Yeah, I like that. And already, I mean, this expansion, I've only been playing with this for a few minutes and I got something that has an atmospherically cool sound to it. So I initially chose this kit because I like the synths. So let's go ahead and explore something with one of these synth steps. And I think I'm gonna go to the keyboard mode and let's change this to minor. And let's engage the note repeat. I'll lock that. Go back to events here. Yeah, let's let's uh let's explore something with this. Yeah, let's record that in. And actually let's do this on another pattern. It's a good idea to just keep duplicating things because we can progressively build up our song idea later on if we want to. Let's go back to the events page here. Yeah. That's what I heard in my head. Cool. So let's uh let's move it forward. 
And actually what I want to do is I want to move that little synth stab or that zap to the left hand side of the stereo field. So I'm going to go to my mixer and let's just restart this. And then it's this one right here. So I'll just press down on the 40 encoder and we'll just shift it. Yeah, you can see that it's already shifted to the right. I want it actually to be in the left. So I'm going to move it over. I don't know, it just sounds better to me. I like how it feels, how it sounds. All right, so I wanna explore, maybe we can explore the new chord inversions or chord position function that we got with 2.15.1. And we can do that with the synth that's in the top right hand corner. And if we go to chords, we can actually engage the chord sets here. And I'm gonna go to minor one for this one. And if we go to the second page, this is where we can change chord position now. I'm gonna change this just to be one above the root. Yeah, okay, so that, that's recorded in, got those chords in with those inversions, which is cool. I love that feature. I'm so glad that Native Instruments added that chord position feature. Man, it's just, it adds so much flavor to chords now. I love it. Okay, now we have a solid idea going. And now if we just take a look back at our patterns, we can kind of see that we have a progression of a song idea started. So if I click back on the first pattern here and just play it back. That's our intro idea. Then we have that atmospheric element come in. So you can hear that we have a developing progression of motifs that starts to build up, getting us in the momentum of this song idea and really introducing us into the next ideas. So let's go ahead and keep going with this idea. And I think I wanna add a couple atmospheric elements. So I'm gonna go and create a brand new group. And there's this one specific kit inside of Motherboard that has specifically like whooshes. In fact, it's actually called Ooshes, which is kind of a funny name, but let's go and load this up. And there's two specific samples in here that I want to add to this idea. And the first sample is this one in the top right. And then this one down here. And actually I wanna move this one to the left hand side as well. So let's just figure out where that is. And then we can just shift it over a little bit. So let's go ahead and record that idea. Just add some flair to this idea. Okay, so I'm satisfied with that song idea and I wanna keep exploring these different kits, but I wanna start a new song idea to kind of like just get some more variety out of Motherboard as an expansion. And I actually want to start this time with the chords, explore that chord position function a little bit more. And let's actually use the other plugin that just came out, which is 40's very own keys. There's some really awesome lush pad presets that I absolutely love. And I wanna go ahead and start with that first with this idea. So let's go into the browser and there's a specific preset called space pad. I'm gonna load that up. And like I said, we're gonna explore the chord function. So let's go into the chords mode. And for this one, I'm gonna do chord set again. Let's do major five, oops, there we go, major five. Let's engage fixed velocity. And let's go to chord position two this time. Man, I love 40's very own keys. These are just such awesome out the gate presets that really just work with any production. So I'm gonna go ahead and record in this chord pattern. OK, 
Okay, great. Now I want to go ahead and load up a drum kit from Motherboard and let's go into the browser. Now there's a specific kit in here called, I think it's Faust Kit. Yeah, this kit right here. I'm gonna load it up. Yes, love the way these slap. These are just phenomenal drum sounds. So let's go ahead and maybe use the ARP function or note repeat function and let's change this to 1 8 and record in a simple drum pad. Love it. All right, let's go ahead and add another part using 40's very own keys. And I wanna use this specific lead called Sun Lead. And then a cool thing with Machine, if you don't know, you can actually hold Shift and then scroll and it'll go faster. And then Sun Lead. Now for this, we're actually in E flat major and it's already set there, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and just record something in for a lead part. And I got, got a couple MIDI notes here that I wanna iron out. Perfect, okay, cool. And I just use the software for that because sometimes, you know, using a hybrid of both machine as a controller and machine as software gets the best of both worlds. All right, so I'm actually gonna like lower that in the mix a little bit. And then pan it to the left a little. And then now I'm gonna go to add group D here. And then I wanna explore the native presets that come with this expansion. Cause every machine expansion comes with a bunch of massive monarch and even sometimes prism presets. And there's a specific synth sound. Actually need to narrow it down to motherboard as our expansion. And there's this one called Throwdown. So I'm gonna hold shift. Yeah, this one right here. And I wanna explore an arpeggiated passage for this. So I'll just lock the arpeggiator and I think I want 1 16th, but let's just go ahead and that and then just maybe pan that let's see okay i want to go ahead and make one more beat to round out this video so let's go ahead and jump into this set of two kits that i have pulled up from motherboard and this first kit is called algorithm kit and i really like this clave sound and i'm going to show you this cool trick with using the notes function we haven't used this yet i haven't gone over this in a video but it's a really cool function that allows you to strum notes but in this case i'm going to actually use it to trigger the note repeat function and do an ascending note passage with it so let me show you what i'm talking about so we have this clave selected so if i engage the notes function and then also the note repeat function and then we go to the keyboard i need to actually lock that and then go to keyboard, what happens is I can, 
can actually trigger the ARP with it. So let me make sure I'm on the right setting here. Yeah, I want to be on 1 16th. And then if we shift record, Perfect. We get a cool little escalating note passage with that clave sound. Now, what I want to do is add a beat to this, and I already have one loaded up on group B, and this is the BioCode kit. And I like this kit a lot because of the kick drum and the snares. And I've already went in and kind of like tweaked the levels a little bit, panned off the claps, but just let's just hear what this sounds like. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of mess around with an idea. And then I just turn off the notes function and the ARP. Yeah. Yep, I love that. Honestly, Motherboard has some really killer kicks, snares, and claps in this pack. Yeah, okay, cool. I love how that sounds. Okay, let's go ahead and round out this beat. I wanna use this cowbell sound. Love that cowbell sound. So what I'm gonna do is go into keyboard mode and let's flip this over to minor pentatonic. And I'm gonna record in an idea here. And I like these notes. So let's record it in. Yeah, love it. So guys, there you have it. That is Motherboard. And I got to say, I am absolutely in love with these vintage machine-esque sounds and all the just deep hitting kicks, snares, and 808 sounds that you get in this expansion. So I definitely recommend checking it out. And if it's something that you see fitting into your productions, Think about picking it up. I know myself for one, I'm gonna get a lot of mileage out of motherboard. Anyways, if you're interested in it, I do have a link below where I do get a little bit of a kickback in collaboration with Native Instruments. And if it's something that you genuinely want and you get it, I do appreciate using that link. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.